good evening. And this is where I'll be going over four different ways to actually do this comic book character. You can do it like this, this, this with the dots, not chicken pox. <laughs> Now, I actually did this look back in 2012, I think. But back then, I really didn't know like all the things that I knew today, so I actually hid it from my channel. And as soon as I hid it, probably like the very next day, I had people asking me where it went. And I was like, whoa. So that was kind of nice of you guys for actually noticing that I took down some of my older videos because I'm going to be redoing them. So because the white dots that I did so long ago are all over the internet now, I'm like, how could I possibly make this different, yet still the same. Make it shiny. But just like back in my 2012 video, I explained to you guys that I don't really like necessarily the red dots. There's nothing wrong with the red dots, it's just I feel like they look like chicken pox. So just like I started out with the white dots way back when, you guys can also use a foundation that's a little bit lighter than your skin. And since I'm pretty pale, that would be white. If you guys wanna check out the products that I use today in this video, you guys can find them in the description below. And be sure to follow me on other social media for like behind the scenes and different kinds of updates. And if you guys enjoy this tutorial, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, Questions, comments, concerns, feel free to contact me. I'm first applying Urban Decay Primer Potion to both eyes and then lining my eyes with the new Made You Look Eyeliner is not coming out until 2015. Woohoo! You can also then use any pencil liner to fill in your waterline and tight line. I'm also using the same liquid eyeliner to fill in my eyebrows. Try to keep them very drawn on. I'm then using Graftobian Propane in black and just lining my entire face. This can be tricky if your baby hair gets in the way, so if it does, just flatten it down with some hairspray. You can then go ahead and thicken up your lines. Adding little details like the lines on your nose, around your nose, and then also where your crease is, which we're technically drawing it a little bit above our crease so it doesn't smear and it shows, will make your pop art look pop out. Such a creative description. I'm also outlining my ears in Graftobian Pro Paint in black, which it should be fairly easy to outline your ears. You can just kind of follow the curves. Maybe I have defined ears, I don't know. And then I'm also filling in some of the tendons of my neck as well as my collarbone and then outlining my body using a foundation brush. For my lips, I'm using a lip brush and Mayron Paradise paint in red. Don't forget to add your highlight using a fine artist brush and Graftobian Pro Paint in white as well as outline your lips in black. You could just have an outline like this or the dots are very easy to do if you just dip the back of a makeup brush that is round and the size that you want into Graftobian Pro Paint in white. Then all you have to do is just dab them on. Personally, I really don't like a full face of comic dots. I just think it's way too much. So I'm just still giving the effect of the dots by placing them in certain places on my face and neck. You can leave your dotted character like this, or add your tears using Graftobian Pro Paint and teal and a lip brush. I'm then using a fine artist brush and Pro Paint in black to outline that whole area. Just to give a little sad expression, also don't forget to add a little flick next to your eyebrows. So sad. If you want to, you can also use a little bit of BH Cosmetics Blue to shade inside the tears. Aww, shaded sadness. Finally, you can bling out your entire look if you want. And because I'm not applying this to my entire face, I'm actually just going to adhere them with spirit gum. You can apply your spirit gum right over your dots. Do not forget to tap your spirit gum. If you forget to tap the spirit gum, it will not become tacky. And then you can just go ahead and apply your rhinestones. If you guys are using spirit gum, please know you will need a spirit gum remover. But you can always apply these with eyelash glue as well. And all these stones I just got from the Michaels Craft Store.
For the stones around my eyes, I'm going to adhere them with eyelash glue because I really don't want to get spirit gum right that close to my eyes. And neither should you. And for my lips, I am also using eyelash glue since it's not as harsh as spirit gum. When working with eyelash glue or any kind of adhesive on your lips, make sure you leave your lips open and don't put adhesive on with your lips closed. Also make sure it dries.